Good morning. I'm here in our donation room at St. Hedwig's lower level of the church, and I am the president of the Six Saints, St. Saint Vincent de Paul um, Society. We're one of the conferences in all of Milwaukee, and I am here um, to talk about St. Vincent de Paul because one of the um, a fundraiser that we're going to be doing associated with St. Joseph's Tables is to help us serve our neighbors in need. Um, so how, I'm going to go through the process of how we get um, neighbors in need and, and how we help them. So if somebody is in need of specifically beds and appliances, that's our main uh, mission, they would call 211 and 211 would refer them to our St. Vincent de Paul um, council office that has an intake number. A woman at that office would take their information, where they live, what their needs are, their requests. Um, most of the requests we get are appliances. Almost every family we have is beds, household goods, and furniture, like a sofa or a kitchen table. Those are our main requests. So then the information is sent to our group and our members would then say they're ready to go on a home visit. You would call that neighbor in need, um, go over their needs, um, make an appointment to do a home visit. We meet them in their home or their apartment. Most of our neighbors are moms with children or older disabled adults or people on disability at all ages. And so when we call them, we ask them also about household needs. And as you can see behind me, we're in our donation room. And fortunately, our parishioners have been overly generous about donating household goods. So we have a good supply of dishes, silverware, pots and pans, um, glassware, towels, sheets, pillows and blankets. Pots and pans, if I didn't say that. And so we would come down here before we go on a home visit box up the things that are needed um, and then go meet them at their home taking those things um, with us. When we're in the home we would then discuss the big things such as the beds, appliances, furniture and most of the time um, with that we give them vouchers. So if it's used appliances we have a supplier, uh, the washing machine man at Teutonia and we would give them a voucher to go and get their fridge or stove and Washing Machine Man would deliver it and hook it up for them. The reconditioned appliances. And then as far as beds and furniture, we would give them vouchers to go to our thrift store on Lincoln. And the beds are new there, but we give out twin and full beds. And then they could also pick out furniture. They needed a sofa, they could go in the donation furniture area of the thrift store and um, either take that with them but we can also help with delivery. Many of our families don't have cars or know anybody that has a truck or they can't even afford to rent a U-Haul or a trailer to go get that those items at the thrift store. So we have somebody that we can pay with this pickup truck to even get them to their home. Um, when we're in the home, we always end with a prayer. Um, certainly more um, a prayer for what they request to be in their prayer and we end with the Lord's Prayer. I'm always amazed, um, I shouldn't probably say that, but many of um, our moms will have the children join in prayer and their kids know the Lord's Prayer. I'm always impressed by that. Um, so at this point, and that's why we're um, requesting some financial assistance during this time, at this point, we're seeing at least six families a week. Um, so you can imagine our, our checking account is being depleted quickly. Um, beds cost us about $200 per bed. Appliances cost us about $230 per used reconditioned appliances. So we've gone into homes where we need to give either from one bed to up to four beds sometimes if they have children. Um, when we go into a lot of homes, we can certainly see their needs. Uh, most of the homes we go into are empty. Um, they're sleeping on wood floors. They don't have beds. They don't have a sofa. Many of our neighbors in need don't have a fridge or a stove. 
this surprised me when I first started doing that. Many of the landlords, especially in the 06 zip code that we go see families, do not supply appliances with their rent. Um, so I've had neighbors in need cooking on a hot plate, storing their um, food on porches and coolers. Um, so that's kind of what we do. Um, certainly during COVID, our numbers greatly increased. Um, and it's been like that pretty much for the last year and a half as far as the needs. Um, we twin with St. Martin de Pores. Um, so we service the east side, we get into the 1-2 zip code, and we even get to the um, west side of um, 43 and get into the 06 zip code. Um, so that's kind of our story. Um, certainly if you need to know anything else, you're always welcome to call me. Um, it's always posted in the bulletin and we do a love story every month about a visit that one of our members has gone out and kind of tell the story of what we hear from our neighbors in need. Thank you very much.